This whole area is um, of trying to like figure out what this stuff means. Different template, what's the effect of different template structures, different scoring algorithms, different alignment procedures, weighting slots differently. What's, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's way understudied um, yet, which is okay, except then the numbers are taken real seriously. Like I said earlier, you know, the top six systems weren't statistically significant. Now, we were actually number six, right? And you know, so when we write a proposal, we say, oh, the top six systems weren't statistically significant. When the person who scored number one writes a proposal, they say, we won MUX six, <laughs> right? I mean, so, so uh, you know, the, the numbers are taken seriously, even though they really shouldn't be. Um, uh, but that's all you have. Uh, but that, but, but your, your question is a good one. I don't think anybody's really uh, uh, looked at that. Probably out of fear that it would show that this is all kind of a waste of time. <laughs> you know, that there's so much variation that, you know, uh, why, why are we struggling to get another point of S score in, in, when, when we already know that six points of difference is a statistically significant. Um, okay, so I can't resist. Uh, giving, uh, uh, I'll be closing up soon here, uh, but one more slide adding, adding to the confusion. So normally, as we said, with the more restrictive alignment criteria, your score goes down, if anything, or stays the same. If you're getting the benefit of bad alignments, um, uh, then, then your score is going to go down. But when I was looking at the data, I was finding cases where the score for the exact same output was going up with a new criteria. Now, how can that possibly happen? At first I'm thinking, maybe I have some kind of bug, although I can't measure now what that would be. But then I looked at what was going on, it became clear. So re remember that this alignment procedure is not guaranteed to find the right solution. It's just searching for the best one. What was happening was that uh, the new, when I, when I make a more restrictive alignment criterion, the algorithm was finding, it was narrowing the search space in a way that allowed the aligner to find the optimal solution. The solution was there with the old scorer, but because the alignment criteria was so weak, there were more combinations than it could actually try. So the scoring during MUC was actually penalizing us. There were cases in, you know, where as much as a six, six point difference, like we would, we would get a score of 84 on a text when in fact we deserved a score of 90. And it just tended to happen uh, on documents that we did pretty well at. So again, you kind of feel this tug, 